Hey everyone, welcome back to the shop. We got the horizontal stuff done. Let's get to work on the vertical. All right, I've spent about the last hour trying to figure out how I wanted to do this because when I went upstairs and checked again on the PDF file for the stomp, um, this part here where I had it slightly angled up because the way the plans had it for the kit that I was kind of copying uh, dimensions off of, um, they had it slanting up. In real life, the stomp was 90 degrees to the, to the vertical. So I went ahead and changed that. Um, I've kind of redrawn it. These aren't to scale. That's supposed to be a quarter inch. Um, I just kind of guessed on it. And you can see by the little lines I've got on the side, that's quarter inch. These little ribs are going to be going through. They're going to be quarter inch by three eighths. Uh, the rear frame, the vertical, is three eighths by three eighths. This is actually larger on the front. And it's because of how it's going to work with the way it's going to get sliced out of here. So this is going to be 7 eighths by 3 eighths, or excuse me, 7 sixteenths by 3 eighths for the front. And then I'm going to come out and I'm going to notch a section out and drop it down. So that will work out fine by that. So I think I've got everything pretty well set up just the way I want to go ahead and do it. Let's get started. All right, hey, let me show us 5, 4, 3, 2... Oh, that's what we're having. We're having an SD card error. That's the problem we're having with Mr. GoPro. You can see, there it is. SD card error. It's the joy of putting together YouTube videos. Alright, anyway. Let's figure out what the problem with GoPro is. And I'll just take you guys off the stand to show you what we're doing. Alright. I've been working on this now for probably about, uh, I don't know, two to three-ish hours of uh, trying to get things set up just the way I want it because I keep making little changes in my mind. And I've got it pretty much hammered out where I think I know how I want to do it. Um, what I ended up doing was I changed everything here instead of three-eighths to three-eighths. When you measure everything out, according to the plans that I'm working off of these should be 7 16 7 inch across by 3 8 thick um, so I went ahead and did the same thing I came in and because this goes down in the rear part of the fuse right back here um, I went ahead and went down to four millimeters which is pretty darn near close to 3 16 of an inch um, so that's what's going to get glued to the back of the fuselage all right now because there's a couple little things that I have to worry about when I'm trying to put this together because I've got nothing that's going to mess around that's going to hold the sides out where I want it to be when I put it together. So this gap here is going to be, I think I've got some 16th inch uh, balsa. I'm going to cut a strip and drop it down in there with the hopes that I won't glue it in there. But that's going to keep everything properly separated so there should not be an issue. And uh, let's see, uh, I'll get everything cut um, on the bandsaw and then when it comes time to assemble, I'll bring you back in just to see how uh, things go, which I'm hoping they're going to go well. This is a very complicated part of the tail section because when you glue it together, this piece is going to be cut off because as you can see up here, it's going to get scarfed in. Um, but I want to have this in place when I put the side pieces in and this is the very last thing that's going to get done where I'm going to glue in a wedge and it's probably going to be down here just a little wedge at the bottom and then go ahead and then just scarf it off down low that way I've got a good anchor for the uh, I got to figure out where it's going to come out on that but uh, where the control horn is going to go uh, down here you see I got a lot of thinking to do best part about the hobby you spend more time thinking and less time building so um, so I'll get this all taken care of and when it's ready uh, for the glue up I'll give you guys a real quick rundown just to see uh, hopefully how things are going all right I wasn't trying to leave you guys out of the fun 
it's almost done. Uh, and I'm going to go over exactly how I got all this set up because it, it, it took me a long time to get it done. Um, just to figure out how I wanted to do it. I'm not ready to cut it apart. I got a couple other little pieces I got to do. Let me kind of bring you in here and show you real quickly what we're going to do. Uh, once again, these just need to be glued in. And it's just these three last ones here. So just a little thin CA. I do have a couple open slots that uh, could have done a little bit better job cutting it out, but I can fill that with uh, just pushing some sawdust down inside once all this sets up. And then just go ahead and just throw some thin CA down the hole and uh, we'll be good to go with that. It's not the pretty way to do it, but it'll look fine when it's done. You won't notice it. Okay, and for those of you that didn't watch the first video of me doing the horizontal stabilizer elevator, this is the little gem. Gem, it's back out again. That's the uh, the Dremel 57, the very old scroll saw. Now what I'm going to do on this, I've got a piece that's going to come in, it's going to get wedged. It's almost 45 degree wedge in right here, so I'll worry about that second, about that little wedge in. I'm going to come down here, I'm going to make new lines where I want to cut out because I don't like where the original one was set up, so I'm just going to go ahead and do it. So what I did was this was traced out just so that I've got everything lined up the way I want it. And then I'm going to just come in here and put it betwixt the lines, draw a little flat spot on the bottom, and that's how far down I'm going to cut this one to. Alright, let's cut. All right, so I got my little cut out here. That's gonna slide in just like that. I just gotta come in and I'm gonna cut the little, uh, pretty much just a 45, it's a 90 degree angle, but it's 45 on each side. So we'll get that set up on how I wanna cut it. And I'm just gonna use my eyeballs and just do a little guesstimate here. I want one that's gonna go about like that. And one that's gonna go about like that. And that's where it should end. And there we go. It's glued in place and we're pretty much just about done with this for the day. All right, it's pretty much glued together. Uh, almost 100% of where I want it. There's a couple other little things I'm gonna do to it. But right now I just wanna come in and do a rough cut and just kinda break everything loose. Just so we can get it down to something that's a little bit easier to sand. When the time comes, let's cut that. This piece is not getting cut all the way through, but this little gap down here is gonna be left open. So I've gotta cut this apart, but in order for me to cut this apart, I need to take this piece off first. Um, so what I'm gonna probably do is, uh, I may come in and sand this with a little round sand first. Let me go ahead and do that. And then uh, I will bring you back and a few. I figured I'd let you guys watch for a little bit. So once again, I'm just using about the first two inches of this just to get it started. So when I can go ahead and go full on it, it's gonna go through really smoothly and it's gonna do a very good job of sanding it round. It's just that this part here is the hardest part just to get it started. But just like everything else, the more you sand, the closer you are to getting done. Okay, now you can see it's a little bit smoother through the leading edge. And as you can see through the leading edge, that's round. 
So that's kind of how I want to leave it. About three minutes. That's how long that took, so it's not too bad. Let me go ahead, turn this over. I want to cut this piece off here. Once that's cut, this will all come off. Now all I gotta do is just come on in, cut, and then sand this down so it's smooth. I may add a little bit to the height of this. I'm not 100% sure yet. We'll worry about that at a later date. That was the little spacer I used between. Let's cut this piece off. There's the rudder so it's pretty much pretty much good to go it's just a matter of me uh, putting this on the tail just while I'm making sure that I left a lot of extra what I'll probably do is on the tail sorry about that you guys weren't even looking at me what I'm gonna do on the tail is back here it is wider this is 3 8 7 inch that's how wide that is this back here is uh, probably about 9 16 so what I'll probably do on this is I'll put a couple little thin square cheeks on the side of this and then when it gets glued on I can go ahead and just sand it just so it matches and it just looks a little bit better but I can make that work but anyway here is let me go ahead and drain this down a little bit Power tools can be your friend. Back on down, so that is ready to go. So we do have a little bit too much of a gap. I'd like to have it closer to that. Um, but right now it's sitting probably somewhere about an eighth of an inch, so it's not too wide of a gap. Um, but this will end up getting set off because I gotta make sure that this is gonna have the hinge in here. So I've gotta make room for the uh, how the hinge is gonna sit in there because these are the hinge pins, right? No, sorry, the big ones. So those are the hinge pins that are gonna go in. I've just gotta make sure that I've got proper clearance for the head on that when it goes in, but won't be that big of a deal. All right, so we do have the tail done. Um, there's still little things I've gotta work on uh, that I wanna put on these things, little corner gussets in a couple areas um, just to strengthen it, but um, you know once again there's almost no weight to this thing and it's really strong so uh so this is gonna last a long time um so anyway we can kind of call it a video um i'm gonna do everything i'm gonna do to this i'll bring you guys back just for a short little video on what i need to do to finish those things up and um then it's time to bring the wings in here and start cutting the wingtips off so we can go ahead and put the hoops on the ends. So we'll see you guys next time down here in the shop.